steel beams, concrete and encased industrial beams. They are one of the most common building materials in Satis factory. And this small blueprint factory makes quite a lot of them for a reason. Reality is that I am constantly running out of those building materials. While over here I am supposed to write a sentence about my endless supply of concrete with my concrete trains, well, so people actually think that I am legit satisfactory pro, uh, well, who I am kidding around? I just use advanced game settings and cheat myself concrete every time I need several thousand units for that slab of brutalist architecture. While I already made quite a lot of fancy personal storage solutions powered by blueprints, I really want something way more specialized to tackle this challenge and to stop my addiction to advanced game settings ever since the update 8. I need small, one-click solution with plentiful built-in storage and high production ratios. Separate factories for all three items, though on the list, before I realized that encased industrial beams have two other items in the production chain. So why make separate factories and blueprints when you can have it all in one place? To disable encased industrial beams, we will need smart splitters and power switch. This is required for the production boost of steel beams and concrete if necessary. Since I know this factory is more of mid to late game thing, I decided on use of Mark IV belts and designed blueprint around Mark IV ratios first. On the first floor, we definitely need set of big industrial containers and the only other machines that fit here are foundries for production of steel ingots. I do not use solid steel ingot alternative recipe since it requires extra space with use of iron ingots and smelters in the production chain. Best layout possible is 4 perpendicular foundries on the first floor and this is basically our main limiting factor for the rest of the factory. With maximum 250% overclock for the foundries, we are limited to input of 450 coal and 450 iron ore per minute. Foundries are aimed outwards and allow for two very compact sets of manifolds feeding six steel beam constructors on the edge of the second floor. Six steel beam constructors require a bit of overclock to meet our goals and the next question is obviously concrete. Second floor house four concrete constructors in a T-shape with two of constructors facing each other inward. With 5 assemblers in mind for the 3rd floor, we can only fit 2 extra constructors for the rest of concrete on the 3rd floor. This brings us to a total of 6 physical constructors for concrete. To meet our goals of 10 virtual constructors, we need again to overclock constructors quite a bit. Nevertheless, with assemblers, everything is quite easy. 5 assemblers is more than enough for encased industrial beam production and the only extra feature is the use of separate power chain with power switch to disable assemblers for immediate use of concrete and steel if necessary. Otherwise, encased industrial beams would be using majority of production volume until both dedicated containers are full. Next part is to make this blueprint factory a bit more flexible. Initial design with 24 power shards is nice, but I decided in favor of second design, limited by Mark III logistics. With a limitation of 270 coal, iron and limestone per minute, only part of the factory that requires slight overclock are foundries on the first floor. At the same time, to fit new throughput of the factory, assemblers are 50% underclocked and steel beam constructors rocking 75% load. And as obvious part of this version, I downgraded all Mark IV belts to Mark III. So to erect this factory, one doesn't require encased industrial beams at all. The next idea was to make OEM version without exterior. Like it or not, all those fancy painted beams eat around 1000 units of steel beams and, well, quite a bit in concrete and silica departments. So, in the end of the day, OEM version is once again simplified version with Mark III logistics and minimal exterior. Now, I have a lot of options when it comes to solving my concrete and steel issues for sure. For all tips and tricks used to make blueprint internals, you can check out my previous videos. And as always, all flip blueprint blah, 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 blah. all flip <laughs> all flip flee flee free blueprints are available for free in the pinned comment down below. I make a lot of satisfactory blueprints. Stay tuned for more. Huge thanks for all YouTube members supporting my channel and thank you very much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice one and yeah, kiss. Out.